Hey guys, Jimmy Vegas here, and in this mini Unity tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can project your gameplay onto any object in the scene. Don't forget, click the subscribe button, click the bell icon as well to stay up to date with every tutorial on my channel. And with that in mind, let's get to work. So when I say to project the gameplay, what do I mean exactly? Well, what it means is to essentially whatever we see here in our game view, for example, if I press play and we do this, we can actually see this projected so it looks like a video on another game object. So to put that into perspective, if I add in just a simple cube, so game object, 3D object, cube, and I'm going to bring this over here and just increase the size just a little bit. Let's keep that as one actually. We have that as five and have that as eight. And all we really need to do is have a camera specified in the same location as our original camera. So in the case of a first person controller, you would have a camera in the exact location of the first person character. If you're doing a third person controller, you would just have a duplicate camera of wherever your camera would be. So in this case, if we right click, and add camera right there that camera is going to render the exact same thing as whatever our first person character camera renders so what we need to do is in our assets we need to right click create and we need to go down to render texture right there you can call this anything you want so i'm just going to call it ren text short for render texture and this texture will be something that can obtain whatever is seen through a camera so if we go to this camera and you'll see here target texture you can just drag and drop that ren text or whatever you've called it onto there and you'll see there the camera preview that is what this texture is now receiving so by that standard we could then apply that texture to any game object so if i attach it to this cube that we brought in just by dragging and dropping you'll see that it now contains whatever the camera sees. Now, as it stands, we're not going to see exactly the same thing as what our main camera sees because I haven't put post processing on. Uh, in fact, do you know what? I think I'm actually going to add post processing so it's exactly the same because I, I don't want any difference here. So, what we just need to do is if you've got post processing on your original camera, you just need to add that post processing once again to the second camera. So, if I just bring that over, to there there we go so you'll see that object change right there now there are a couple of drawbacks to this although it will be kind of cool when we press play i'll explain the drawbacks as we go through so if we press play you can see that that cube now is displaying exactly what we see in the scene now if you get too close well it's going to go a little bit funny because you've got to think effectively you're looking into oblivion at this point because you're looking at the same thing through and through and you may get glitches every now and again but like i said what it can be used for is something kind of cool but you can see what i mean the whole thing everything we see is being rendered onto that object and it's not just cubes that you could do that to so if we go back to our scene view and for example if we uh, we, well, theoretically, we could apply this texture to this floor, like that. Drag and drop it onto any object. Well, obviously, apart from a terrain at this point, that would be a bit daft. Uh, but let's do it to this right here. There you go. You, you can see exactly what's going on here. I'm rendering all of this onto just random objects. Yes, that's kind of dumb in some respects, but... <laughs> In all fairness, you can see what I mean by applying it to any single object. As I said, there are drawbacks because you will always get to a point where you'll end up looking straight into oblivion and you'll end up with glitches like that right there. So because we are staring straight into oblivion, that's where it glitches. So you can create all kinds of weird cool effects just by having that kind of thing happen. And it's not something, you know, that's seen very often, but it's just kind of a cool little effect and a little addition to a game that you could have, which you might find useful for something.
anything really. So guys, I hope that's helped. I um, hope you've been inspired by a little bit of weirdness that we've created in this tutorial. And yeah, guys, thank you very much for watching.